All right, thank you, the mules. I appreciate that so very much. And take your Bibles and turn to Matthew chapter uh, 16 and verses 13 through 18 for our text. Now, we will be um, giving you some other scriptures. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read from Ephesians chapter 4 and 5 here in just a moment as well as part of our text. But you, we put those uh, pastors. Uh, notes or sermon notes in your bulletin each Sunday. I'll give you a blank paper so you can write down things. Uh, sometimes you can write down passages that were put down there that I, I'd go over. I don't give people time to look them up once I get started. So it's good to have it written down to know that it is from the Word of God. All right, in Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 18, we read this. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, whom do men say that I am, that I the Son of Man am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now, let me just add in there before we get into the message tonight. When Peter said that, if he had said that in the temple in front of the priest, the high priest, they would have killed him for it in that day. And so to call Jesus the Son of the living God was to say that he was equal with God or God come in the flesh, which he is. And so that's the impact of that statement. And Jesus answered and said unto him, 